Much has been made of Spare's potentially damaging revelations about the monarchy, but King Charles III faces much bigger challenges, like a completely unknown future for both the monarchy and for the country. The publication of Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, Spare, has left many wondering whether there is any hope for a reconciliation between the Duke of Sussex and his family. Following the countless revelations, it has been questioned whether the prince's unflinching honesty and insight into life behind palace walls will have a lasting impact on the British monarchy. However, it has since been argued that the Duke's book has had the opposite effect, overshadowing and taking attention away from the deeper problem within the House of Windsor, one that could spell disaster for an age-old outfit. Clive Irving, author of The Last Queen and Royal Columnist at the Daily Beast, claimed the memoir is not, in any way a threat to the royal family. He said, in fact, I think the reverse. I think the book served to cover up what is really a much deeper problem for the whole family. Appearing on an episode of the Royally Obsessed podcast last week, Mr. Irving pondered how long the British monarchy might have in an ever-changing, ever-modernizing Britain. They're increasingly out of sync with what's going on in the country, and the mood of the country, and this particularly is a problem for the king. Standing over the precipice of an unknown future. King Charles III has been monarch for just over five months, having ascended the throne in September following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The late queen, who inherited the throne in 1953, was 25 at the time of her accession. Charles was 73. What you see is a fairly old man, Mr. Irving said. In fact, Charles, at one point, said no one should be monarch after the age of 70. H has inherited this huge apparatus of the monarchy, all these palaces on the model that the Queen set for herself and couldn't be changed as long as the Queen was alive, because it seemed part of her and she was very, very popular. Charles is almost standing over the edge of the precipice, looking down to a completely unknown future for both the monarchy and the country. Given his age, Charles has been described as a transitional monarch, holding the top position between the lengthy reign of his mother and the accession of his eldest son, Prince William. In the years before Queen Elizabeth's death, polling suggested that British citizens preferred the idea of William becoming king instead of Charles. A YouGov poll in May found that the former Duke of Cambridge was the favourite to succeed the Queen.